Ashley Osborne, and I have spent countless hours of my life researching, learning, and practicing all the different ways we can make money online. My goal with this channel is to prove to you that not only can you too make money online, but you can do so easier and faster than you think. If making money online interests you, then please hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification. That way you get notified every time I make a video. Let's get into today's video, shall we? Hi friends, welcome back or welcome if you are new here. Today we are going over a very important topic for Etsy. If you are going to be selling on Etsy, you need to learn what to do when your file sizes are just too big. There is a workaround. It's fairly simple, mildly tedious, definitely frustrating when you're starting out, <laughs> but I have a fix for you. So if you start this now, you won't be so stressed. Here I am, I have uploaded my Tumblr pictures right here. I have added everything to my listing that I need to add. But now that I come down here to my digital files and I go to upload, watch what happens. Right here, the uh-oh sign, <laughs> the Etsy sad face of doom. <laughs> Your file size is over 20 megabytes. Now that might seem like, oh my gosh, I can't believe your file is so large, but it's really common when you are making sublimation files and especially when you are making them in bundles like I do. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is zip your file together. We're going to select the files that you're, the file that you're going to wanna use. I have all of mine right here. One, two, three, four, five tumblers, and I have them each in a folder. And so from here, I'm just going to right click and compress to zip. Once you've done that, it'll zip your file up into a nice little folder for you. So the first thing we do when we get to Google is go to our Google Drive. Google Drive can be found by going to these little dots right here and scrolling down to where it says Drive. Now I have gone ahead and I've added more storage here because I have a lot of files that I've used. But just to start out, you're going to have enough to work with. So from here, what I want to do is I want to add that file that we just zipped up into the, our Google Drive. So from here, I just go to New, File Upload, and then choose Grunge Tumblr, because that's my file that I'm looking for. Okay, so mine is right here. What you're going to do from here is you're going to right click, and you're going to go down to where it says Get Link. When you're on this screen here, you're going to see where it says general access and it says restricted. Under that, it says only people with access can open with the link. And it says restricted. What we wanna do is we wanna hit that down arrow and we wanna put anyone with the link because what we are going to be giving our customers when they order is the link, okay? This will all make sense in a minute. I personally complete the next step in Google Docs. Google Docs is like um, Word. If you're familiar with Word, it's basically the same thing, but it's Google's version. So I complete mine on Google Docs. You can complete yours wherever you'd like. Ultimately, what we are creating is a PDF file that the customer is going to be seeing. So at the top of my PDF file, I choose to put my banner. So my shop banner is at the top. Now the reason I choose to put my shop banner there is because I don't want them to think that they're getting scammed in any way. I don't want them to think because they're used to ordering digital files and downloading them that, oh, they're just downloading and all they get is a piece of paper. People are just, people are kind of lazy when it comes to things like this, okay? They're more than likely not going to read right away. And an image right off the bat that says Last Frontier Design Co. or your business is going to show them like, oh, yeah, I ordered. Okay, what did I do? And they're going to be able to continue to read. So I think it's really important to have your shop banner at the top of your PDF file. Scrolling down, I have this written. Thank you for shopping with Last Frontier Design Co. You will be directed to your files by clicking the link below. Now, right here, I made sure to tell them right off the bat, right after they see my company name, 
they see what are they doing? Why do they have this sheet? Instantly their question is answered. I then write, I would love to see what you create. Once you have used your files, please leave a review because as we all know, reviews on anything you purchase are like the gold, okay? And then down below, I put file purchased and I put the name of the file. Here is where they will click to access their link. So let's go through this step by step so that you understand how to set this up. So I'm gonna go ahead and reduce this down to 75%. Well, maybe even, we'll do 50%. So we can see the whole thing in one picture. All right. So the first thing I want to do is I want to name the file. To name the file, you just just highlight right up here where it says rename. And now, obviously, the last thing I used was my Christmas dot art printables. But in this case, we're using the grunge tumbler wrap bundle. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight that, and I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to replace it by just hitting control V. See what I did there? All you had to do was highlight it and then control V. Okay. All right. And so now it says the file you purchased was grunge tumbler wrap bundle. So the next thing we have to do is we have to make sure that the link connects to this sentence. If you've never created a hyperlink before, understand that it is extremely easy, but it's okay if you've never done it before. You're not the only one, I promise. We're going to go to Google Drive. We're going to find our file. We're going to right click, get the link, and we're going to copy the link right where it says copy link with a little chain link right here. It says right here, link copied. We hit done. Go back. Here we already have it highlighted. Then we're gonna go up here to that same symbol, okay? And we're just going to click it, and it's going to bring us up this box. All we have to do is Control V to paste that link that we just copied from our file, and then hit Apply. And that is it, that is all we do. It's really helpful to already have this whole template. You have your banner, you have a little saying right here. Go ahead and copy what I have if you'd like. That's fine, obviously, with your own business name. Um, copy whatever you'd like. And then the file, the file purchased right here. And then the link to download. All you have to do is start highlighting. And you'll see that it says grungetumblr.zip. And that's the right one. Okay. Now, from here, we're going to save this as a PDF file. So we're going to go File. Download PDF document. And here it is, it is downloaded right here. We're gonna head back over to Etsy now. Here we are, and we're going to go ahead and upload our file. And now we are not uploading the whole file, remember. Now we are only uploading the PDF. So there we go. And now we have the PDF there. Now we're just gonna go ahead and save and publish our copy. Now let's go ahead and look at this from the customer's perspective, okay? Here they are. They are going to go ahead and click Add to Cart. Then they're going to download their file. When they download their file and they open it, they're going to come to this. This is exactly what it's going to look like when they open it. They're going to read this. Thank you for shopping. Da, da, da. Oh, this is where I get my file. And they're going to move their mouse and instantly the little hand's gonna pop up and they're gonna click. Oh, I just have to click here to get my file. And then the file is going to pop up right here. Okay, so here we go. This is exactly what they're going to see. And from here, they can go ahead and download. Very simple. However, it is that extra step of making sure that now that we're done, we're uploading to Google Drive and then connecting that link onto our PDF file. But that's it. That's how you get around that 
mildly frustrating uh, limitation of Etsy for their files. I hope you guys found that really helpful. I'm excited to see all the different things and all the different shops that you guys create. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.